So last night I had an OBE. Um, it was an astral OBE from a lucid dream. I um been taking some supplements that I that are making me wake up at the end of each sleep cycle. And uh, so at the end of each sleep cycle, I would wake up for a few seconds and turn over sort of the rollover effect, if that's even a thing. And um, I woke up for a few seconds, rolled over, and then immediately entered a lucid dream. Um, I was in kind of like a city. I was in a city environment, had a heavy coat on. I uh, was very excited that I was in a lucid dream uh, because I haven't had one. I haven't had an OB or lucid dream for, well, since December. I've been overworking a lot. Um, I've been eating pretty well recently, but um, yeah, a lot of overwork. And when I work a lot, uh, my ability to have uh, lucid dreams and OBs essentially goes down to nothing. So I ended up in this uh, this city, and I ran forward and then began flying. Um, I was only flying for a, a few seconds before uh, the astral wind took over, and I was moving forward flying, and then the astral wind started pulling me, and I, uh, you know, instead of, like, hit, hitting or flying into or through the building, the astral wind took over, and I was kind of, like, pulled into this, you know, dark tunnel like normal, and then I went downward or felt kind of like, felt that maybe I didn't go down. I don't know. I don't know which way I went. I was like running, flew, and then I kind of was pulled forward and felt kind of like I was going down. Um, I ended up, I didn't travel for long, traveled for, I don't know, less than a minute or so, maybe a minute or two. It was pretty brief, probably less than a minute. It's, it's so hard to tell time-wise. So often when I'm giving time statements, it's like an estimate because it really is hard to tell time. Um, in retrospect, you know, I'm not counting. I haven't, I haven't started counting seconds. Unlike um, uh, Michael Roduga's recent video where he had people counting seconds. Maybe next time I'll start counting seconds. But uh, yeah, I mean, these are these are very short, and I knew it would be a short experience because whenever I, uh, whenever I wake up at the end of each sleep cycle, my OB experiences are typically very brief. So anyway, I was pulled uh, by the astral wind and I materialized in uh, an environment with a couple figures around. When I was materializing, there were kind of like um, beautiful kind of like colored lights appearing. Uh, nothing kind of like some of my other experiences. Um, they weren't too intense, very, very somewhat dark, but they were still a bit of color there. Um, and then there were beings around me. The beings looked he hominid. They, they didn't look human. Um, and their teeth were kind of, they were talking to me and their teeth were kind of weird. Um, don't remember what they were saying. Uh, I commented the one in one of the individuals who was closest to me, I commented on his teeth. They were kind of like dark and not all that, um, attractive, I guess you could say. And uh, after I commented, he poked me in the throat right here. I sometimes, when I'm working, kind of grab my throat and go like that. I don't know if I have a thyroid issue or if he was kind of like, well, you know, you're making comments and I think I'm going to poke you in the throat. And, uh, you know, maybe you should think more carefully about your comments going forward. So I don't know. I'm not going to get my thyroid checked at the moment. Uh, yeah, and, it, and um, after he poked me in the throat, I was only there for a couple more seconds and then rematerialized in my body here um, in my bedroom. So it was a very short, uh, short trip. I've been taking a few supplements. I'll list the supplements in the comment. Um, you know, I really wish I was having more experiences, but my work's really important to me. And so I'm dedicating most of my time to work um, and not putting a lot of effort into uh, waking up at three o'clock or two o'clock or four o'clock and, um, you know, meditating for a bit, which is really the way, uh, re really the practice that I follow that gives me, you know, where I can stay out of my body for 30 minutes, an hour or more. That's what it feels like. So short experience, uh, wish I was having more, but need to work.